Microsoft's new eLicense homepage. This video is a short tutorial on how to create your new individual eLicense account. First, everyone must register in order to create an account. The register button can be found in the Access Your Account section in the lower middle of the box. Click Register. When you click Register, you are brought to the Register New Account screen. Now you must determine how you would like to register. For the purposes of this video, we are going to register as an individual. The next sec section asks a few questions that will help the system determine whether you have any information already available. For the purposes of the video, you, we will select Yes and then click Next. We are then brought to the Account Matching page. On the Account Matching page, it asks us to enter our last name and either our online registration number or the last four digits of our Social Security number. Then select Finish. When you select Finish, you are brought to the registration page. On the registration page, it asks you to create a user ID and enter an email address. The email address must be valid or the registration process will not be successful. Next, we are brought to the password section. When we go to the password section, we can see that there are a few requirements of passwords. We must have one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one number, one special character, and it must be nine characters in length. Enter your password, and then it asks you to confirm your password. Enter the same password again. Then we are brought to the personal information section. Under personal information, it asks us to enter our first, middle, and last name. If you do not have a middle name, it is not required to move to the next section. Next, we are taken to the address section. As you can see, there is a public address section and a mailing address section. If your public address and your mailing address are the same, click Same as Public Address button next to Mailing Address. Next, enter your address information. Last, we are brought to the secret question section of this page. The secret question section is to help you determine if you, how to access your account if you have lost your access information. For the purposes of this video, we are simply going to enter one, two, and three, and then select create account. The system has run the address through a database and determined that there is a better address. When this happens, it asks you to use the corrected address. Please select Use Corrected and select Save Address. We are then brought to the User Account page. The User Account page is just a confirmation that an email has been sent to your email account with a link to finish the registration process. If you enter the wrong email address, you can click Change Email, or you can generate a new email if you did not receive the email. We're now going to go to our email account and select the link. When we select the link, we are brought to, back to the user account page, and you are now registered for your new e-license account. Thank you.